how we secure Nam the Kano's release. Emmanuel Iwanyangu pledges. Okay. They don't they break for Igbo leaders. Nigerian politician and entrepreneur Emmanuel Iwanyangu has been confirmed as the president general of organizing the Igbo, a leading Igbo social cultural organization. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerian politician and entrepreneur Emmanuel Wanyangwo has been confirmed as the President General of Organizing Igbo, a leading Igbo social cultural organization. In his inaugural speech, Wanyangwo promised to work towards securing the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who is being persecuted for treason by the federal government of Nigeria, and to focus on regional development. Iwanyangon was endorsed unanimously during a meeting of Organize Mobi, the organization's highest, highest decision-making body in Enugu on Sunday. His appointment needed ratification since it did not result from an election. Chinedu Uwa, a member of Organize Ndigbo, said that Iwanyangon was confirmed through, vi through voice voting. The endorsement came after a recommendation by elders of Imo State and because there were no objections to its appointment. In his speech, Wanyangu expressed gratitude for the opportunity to lead the Igbo group and vowed to defend their interest. I thank you all for allowing me to lead in the Igbo. At this time, with our collective efforts, and support. Indigo will rise again. I therefore have a duty to defend the Igbo curse. And I promise Imobi and all Igbo people that by the grace of God, I will not fail. Fail them, he said. Iwanyangu outlined his administration's priorities, including reviving agriculture and industries in the southeast, focusing on information and communication technology. He also emphasized the need to vitalize the educational system and reposition the regional health sector. Another essential goal for Iwanyangu is to evaluate the possibility of generating electricity using coal de deposits in Enugu, which could provide a much needed energy search for the region. Furthermore, he plans to create an organized investment company and a cultural center to preserve and promote the rich cultural heritage of the Igbo people. The new leader also aims to secure an additional state for the Southeast, which currently has only five states, compared to other regions in Nigeria. Several political conferences have recommended the creation of an additional state in the Southeast to bring the number of states to six so far. This has not been actualized. I will make sure that during my tenure, as organized President General, an additional state is created for the Southeast, Iwanyangu assured. The meeting was attended by governors from the Southeast, including Ifani Uwanya of Enugu State, Charles Soludo of Anambra State, Dave Omai of Ebony State, represented by his deputy, Kelechi Igwe, Okeze Ikbazo Abia, represented by his deputy, Ude Chuku, and Hope Uzodema Imo, represented by his deputy, Tu Njoko. Other attendees, attendees include the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, any good state governor, elect Peter Mba, the former governor of Imo State, Ikede, 
and the former president general of organizing Digo, Wabara, among others. So guys, you've all heard it now. Emmanuel Iwanyango has promised to release Mazin Namdekano. Iwanyango is a Nigerian politician and entrepreneur. He has been confirmed as the president general of organizing Digbo. So he's going to be leading Igbo Social Cultural Organization. In his inaugural speech, he promised to work towards securing the release of the IPOB leader Nam Dekano, who is being persecuted for treason by the federal government of Nigeria, and to focus on regional development. Okay. Igbo leaders have to wake up. Igbo leaders, they have to wake up. They have a lot of work to do. They have so much work to do. That is the truth. Because they are really very relaxed about Mazin Namdekano, you know, incarceration. Why I said that is because this Mazin Namdekano's incarceration is not just about Mazin Namdekano. This, this issue is actually affecting them in the Southeast. Every Monday, they don't go anywhere. Every Monday, they are still sitting at home. Children don't go to school. Workers don't go to work. People who do business, they don't, do, they don't go to, to their business places. Don't forget that Igbos, they are known with business. For how long is this going to continue? They have to stand tall and tell the federal government to release this man. He has been discharged and acquitted by a competent court of jurisdiction. Not be I go, I will, I go, we will, and all that. All the promises made by the Igbo, Igbo governors, which they don't do now. They even talk about political solution for Mazin Namdekano. What step have they taken? I beg, make a drop on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always coming out here. Bye for now.